Dealers need to pay more attention to the behavior of their customers. This expert says that it's not just about selling cars, it's about attracting and satisfying customers in a way that distinguishes you from the competition. If you simply listen to your customers, if you watch their habits when they walk into your showroom or they're waiting in the lobby for their car through service or in the waiting area, what are they doing? What devices are they on? Is it in your Google Analytics if they're on your website? Yeah, but chances are they're not on your website if they're sitting in the lobby. What are they doing? What sites are they on? Uh, what would they like access to? Which devices and operating systems are on? These are the things we're not paying attention to. We're not asking. If you look at most, even internet appointments, let alone walk-ups to a dealership, and in the sourcing process, in the meet and greet, what data is being collected? What, what's being put into the CRM about that customer? We're swiping the driver's license, but what else are we putting in there? It's no longer simply about, I'm here to sell cars. All that other stuff, just, it's great. Don't give me the details. I'm just here to sell cars. That mentality does not work anymore in the industry. And it, quite frankly, hasn't worked for about 10 years. You can't just be there to sell cars. You have to be there to satisfy your customers, to attract your customers, to retain your customers. You have to be there to give the, the value advantage benefit, the distinguishing differences between you and your in-brand or out-of-brand competitor down the street. You have to be the community place that shows involvement, the charities, things like that. It's no longer enough to you know, put your flag up, put your balloons on the cars, and just say, hey, come on in, we have a sale. It doesn't work that way.